Blood cultures are performed if there is suspicion of bacteremia or sepsis, suggested by fever or other signs and symptoms. Causes of bacteremia include endocarditis, pyelonephritis, bacterial pneumonia, and intra-abdominal infections. In some cases, yeast are recovered in blood cultures as well. Blood culture is usually performed by venipuncture, but can also be collected from indwelling lines. Aerobic and anaerobic vials are typically drawn together as a set and constitute a single culture. Smaller blood culture vials are used for children, since less blood can be collected. Contamination is very common, occurring in up to 4% of all cultures and making diagnosis a challenge. Frequent organisms include coagulase negative staph or carini bacteria. Contamination can be reduced by being meticulously careful and using sterile equipment. At least two sets of blood cultures must be taken, each from a different location. Sets may also be separated by time for increased specificity. Describe the procedure to the patient and determine the collection site. Prevent contamination by using a mask as you begin. Apply the tourniquet before proceeding. Prepare the site using the swab of chlorhexidine and alcohol. Assemble equipment on a sterile tray and swab the vials with alcohol. Don sterile gloves immediately prior to venipuncture. Between 5 and 10 mils of blood should be collected per vial. Specimens for the aerobic vial should be drawn first in order to prevent air from ruining the anaerobic environment. Do not cover the vial barcode or bottom while labeling. Specimen and requisition require matching labeling that includes the patient's name and another unique identifier, such as health card number or hospital unit number. Date of birth is not a unique identifier. In the lab, adequate volumes are confirmed and the request is entered into the lab computer system. Cultures are incubated at 35 degrees Celsius. The instrument regularly scans the vials for CO2 production, measured by fluorescent activity of culture medium components. If a threshold is reached, an alarm sounds and the vial is removed for further processing. The technologist immediately performs a gram stain for initial identification. The findings are telephoned at once to the ward in case the patient is not already on an antibiotic or is on a poor choice. Some of the blood culture media will also be inoculated onto agar plates for further identification and susceptibility testing. Typically, the entire process takes 24 to 48 hours for a final identification and susceptibility report to be generated.